When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. Every single day when you wake up, you better be spending time on your dream. You better be spending time on your You ain't got time to waste. It is a sense of urgency. It's a character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. They're one in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. But if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulf, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. And the title of 2013, three-time Mr. Olympia, Phil P. Now that's that thing called life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. I can tell you that now. Be aware of that. Things are not gonna work out exactly right. For a time they will, sometimes. And that's when life is just playing a game with you. I don't wanna play anymore. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't gonna go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not blowing up, the reason why you're not successful, you have not learned to pass. You think just because it's an opportunity, it's for you. And not every opportunity is for you. All of us have experienced some tragedy, and if we haven't, we will. And you can either let it destroy your life, or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let, you, let it hold you down, or you can decide, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. It's not going to be easy. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. You all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? Forgive and grow. You're about to separate yourself from the pack, and you're about to be on top. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. It's the way you see it. It's the way you think it. Your mind is the battleground. Pick somebody and tell them the enemy is after your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. Out to make you give up on your dream. The warfare is in your mind. It's not in your checkbook. It's not in your savings account. It's not on your job. The fight that you got to fight is in your mind. And if you whip it in your head, you can whip it in your checkbook. You can whip it on your job. You can whip it out of your children. But you gotta drive it out of your head. 
I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. Standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You're standing up for your dream. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? When you, when, you, when you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Once you make a decision and you go all in and you say, I ain't quitting till I get there. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I will do whatever it takes to be successful. And when you make that decision, you, when you look you in the mirror, when you tell yourself that, look, I'm through, I'm, I'll do whatever it takes, I get it. That's the debt begins to happen. Get about your past. Get what happened back in the day. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. You heard me tell the story with the lion and gazelle. You still stuck, you're a gazelle. You are, you are a gazelle. You need something to motivate you. What happens to the gazelle when the lion ain't chasing him? Well, what happens is, he nothing, he stops running. Why? Because he always needs something external to motivate him. There are a lot of people, you're not successful in life, not because you ain't got talent, not because you ain't got skills, but your character ain't right. And I've told you this before, that if you're not careful, your talent will take you places that your character can't keep you. So what's your motive? The reason why you can't get up at four o'clock in the morning, the reason why when I say get up at six, you're looking at me like I'm crazy, is because you don't have that thing that's driving you, that's pushing you to say no to the alarm clock and wake up no to the snooze button. When, when you get that extra assignment, that extra lap, the reason why you can't do it is because you don't have the right to that motive that's pushing the action. What's your why? Somebody came up to me. They said, E.T., man, I'm tired. I put in the work, E.T., I'm not seeing the results. I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Why do you do what you do, and that's so important? It's not enough just to be a doctor. You got doctors who got terrible bedside manners, terrible. You got lawyers who are skilled but arrogant. If we talk about character right now, what's your motive? What moves you? What drives you? And whatever it is, sports, life, business, whatever it is, health, listen to me very closely. You got to change that mindset. Even in your action, while your action is good, you got to ask what drives it. What guides it? What moves it? What's the spirit behind it? What's the reason behind it? What's the purpose behind it? When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, when you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You could go one more day at work. You can find a you can find a scholarship. Listen to me, when you're doing it for somebody else, when you like that lion, if I don't grind, if we don't grind, if I don't grind, they don't eat. 
This is it. This is I can't. I can't. I can't. I wish I could back off, but it's fourth quarter. I wish I could tell you something else. I wish I could tell you you tired. Go take a break. I wish I could tell you tired. Rest for a year. I wish I could tell you that that it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's gonna get lighter. The the weight the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you and when you find out what your why is and your why got to be deeper than you when you find your why you don't hit snooze no more when you find your why you find a way to make it happen time for you to look within yourself and decide that I'm in charge of my destiny. I'm in charge here. Time to face yourself and talk to yourself in the mirror. And I'm not going to allow anybody to turn me around. I am determined that I'm going to make it. The time for just wishing is past. Time for doing. That's the time right now. Time for acting on your dream. Find out what it is you want and go after it as if your life depends on it. We can decide to take charge of our own destiny, begin to truly live our dream. Listen to me closely. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's that's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath, breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. So I ask you, what do you intend to do now?